Hello, people. Welcome to War and Tactics Productions today. It's Senator Constantine, or if you want to call me that, you shall. Today I'm playing Matt and Blade Warband, the 16th century. And I'm in one of my. Yes, and I'm technically in Xi'an, the former ancient capital of ancient China. I. I'm technically now, and I've been playing this whole one. Yes, to put up the story for this. So I'm playing a. I'm playing as Count Aizengiro uh, Narahapsa. I can't even pronounce If I can't even pronounce his name because I forgot his name easily. So currently I'm in Xi'an, and. Um, uh, I did a bit of conquering around in my game. So yes, and I am I'm playing as Emperor or Cat Aishingo the Charge the Charge, which is. The new emperor of North China, technically the new dynasty of the Jing Great Jing Dynasty. The Ming are still alive, and they're down south for the old friends of them. Now, what's going on here? Japanese pirates with the emperor. They're just gonna help our old fallen enemy here. In a war against, as you can see, my troops, a big variety of Manchurian armies and enemies. So technically I do have the cheap uh, menu on, but uh, uh, that was because I wanted to put up a backstory for this run. And as well, I wanted to add, wanted to add uh, a bit of flavor into my game. So, as well, because I needed, I played the match Empire to play, I decided to also have to get this piece of armor. So, you can't get this armor technically in game, you have to get a free sheet of energy, which I did. So, from now on, this is the first episode of my new Empire story. The, the Great Jing Rise of the story. And now, yes, I got the Jing menu, and that's where I got the art. I mean the, not the, the um, armor. So, currently under me, I am the great liege of the great Jim. That's me. I have, I have a lot of thieves. And then these are the territory I occupy, and later these are the land, and sorry for the disturbance outside, uh, in there, there's discord, plus there's uh, things going on in the background, so these are my vassals, and one of these vassals, uh, this is not, uh, is it this guy, no, Bactan, yeah, this guy hates me, now, he was one of my first lords, my first vassals, when I took over Manchuria, and him, hates me, even though I gave a village and a freaking uh, uh, town to him. So, still is. Now, I'm gonna have to always have to talk to the... We have a lot of Japanese pirates and rebels around, which technically is my duty currently to protect the empire. It's just a mark. Experience. There we are. Ah, charge the enemy. Yes, most of my men are technically cavalry, 
and because we're playing the matches which are partially on Mongols, anyways, I decided to have a huge cavalry on to for my own self. While my other vassals take the infantry archers, I took all horse archers, mostly cavalry. Technically, this is quite big. I'm not really killing anyone, apparently it's because I'm talking around on a horse. Talking about the yeah. And my men are quite capable of doing as you can see horse in my life. More Japanese parts. I've been trying to get so if you can see from my army here, we have uh, that's me. Then there's my my great cavalry. I have two Manchu cavalry here, and then later I have Chinese Ming Di Chinese Ming Dynasty cavalry. A, Mong a Mongol, once Japanese Mongol, Mongol, and some of my infantry, which I need to grab for my technical. Um, recruiting to update them, grab, become bigger infantry men. Whereas uh, this time I'm gonna have to get some inter infantry so I can secure some of these my town, my garrisons. Uh, guys. Japanese pirates, Chinese rebels. Yeah, and there's been a lot of rebels. Now, I have. Taken, I have done negotiating and made some deals with rebel, with uh, enemy lords, and some of these I took by negotiating with them. And I've been trying to follow this rebel, this rebel group for ages. And that is one of my vassals, and I'm going to see how he takes it. We have. This is gonna be gonna end easily, so I'm gonna actually fight in this one. So be mindful that I'm going to concentrate. Yeah. my men to clean up this field. And there we are, victory! I'm gonna give your I'm gonna give you these. I decided that some of these need to choose. Um, let's just go for option. So currently I'm planning and this is what I'm going to plan in this episode. Now 
As we are the kingdom of the Great Jing, the Ming are currently here, and they are being raided by, if I exactly remember from my notes, they are currently at war. This is the Great Ming Empire. They only have these left, and these guys charge. Yeah, that means Bound by choose not to attack the Great Jing. The truth, yeah, we were at war with them when we attacked Korea, so that reason, but. I believe they are still at war with the Mongols and the Japanese, which could be only one thing. And states of Arabia. Yep, here comes the state of Arabia. I'm just gonna ask him something. Uh, I wanna ask creation of Sultan Arab. Is that Hassa? I'm planning to take all of uh, Asia, most of China, and Mongolia here. Now the south, I'm believing to leave alone. But I will be moving away from my kingdom and into uh, the Middle East, where I'll be trying to find new companions to be made into my empire. And that is when, and this guy comes from Arabia, which is here, far away. Technically, I can travel, but dealing with my vassals is the biggest priority currently to get them in favor. And I don't think I'm restricted that. Well, coming to it, I don't want them to form the enemy hand. So, I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna tell and I'm gonna talk to my enemy ransom broker. Sell these off because I need money. Ah, and that is a companion. A new companion actually found in this area. Ah, uh, my men are healthy. And another one. Yeah, no need anymore. So yeah, I have new two new companions which I've been decided I uh, just got now. Today, uh, I am not an archer. I'm technically a right. That is what I have here. And I'm going to sell these ones off these ones off for my own price. Um okay. Armor. I need that. I have a lot, technically. And I also could wear this, but technically I'm I won't wear this Ming Dynasty. Clothing, because that is right to me. You can get these in game, but the ones that I got is different. And I want to check out my new last new uh, character. So you, round ninety nine, enthusiastic. Okay. Yeah. How much? skill do you have? You have 10. Okay, so you can grab armor. So, currently I'm going to back and make my new guy, my new two new companions, Christina and Yifeng, Yifeng Gao, um, into my new, my new people at my capital. And I'm looking for, actually, let me see if there is velvet in here, because I need, nope, velvet. I only have one velvet, I need a few more velvets so I can actually make Beijing my capital, which is technically Shengtian at this time of year. And currently I'm going to travel back to my capital. Who are you? Okay. They're currently at war with Japan, uh, the Ming, so I'm not gonna bother them. I will have to bother them, bother both Arabia, Mongolia, and Japan one, Japan one day, consisting that they may take the South here, and which is a big key. I'm not going to declare war again because I have a truce with them, and that is one thing I, I won't do until the truce is over. 
Currently I'm going back to my capital is technically here. And which is my technically the ancestral home. So I'm going to Beijing because one, I am wanting to make this the new capital of the empire. And three, it is a good it is kind of um for historical reasons, so I'm going here. Can I move your court? And now it is my court. So that's my. And I believe I have. Yep, tools. This is my capital. My new capital. And I brought infantry now. These are foreign infantry, which I have here. But. I got foreign infantry, but also Japanese and. Mostly foreign. I'll be bringing over troops from my own area to here. From my uh, castle to here. And yes, I have finally got Imperial clothing. Who is this? Dick and John. Yeah, uh, yeah, but I don't know why you're here. Boohoo, this is my chancellor, technically, and dispatcher, emissary to the Ming, uh, to Japan, which I need. Because I need to improve my relations with them, actually, so. Grab one of my vassals of feet. So these are my own. I'm gonna put High Dan into one of my new lords. I'm making you one of my new companions that. So, uh, new companions has 10. So he's gonna be a new Lu Bu character. And I believe I'm trying to find that. Choosing between what I want, I got a halberd. I do have a musket and cartridges, which I could use, but it depends. And actually, do going to give my new vessel. I have a lot to ah uh, clothing as well. A horse. I need two horses. Depends whether. My vassals have can ride horses. So, Christina, you are gonna be in my heroes. Let me see your equipment. Yep, he can ride a horse. Have that. He has a sword already, and he has going to take a halberd. Maybe I give him muskets. And my musket, my musket, and my cartridges. New boots. You shall move up. As my Christina, on the other hand, would would technically replace. I'm gonna build up outpost. Gee, I'm gonna actually move the outpost here.
And I believe go to marketplace clothing. There's some new cavalry. I'm going to have horse archers. Five of those to help. Christina shall have. Um, where is that clothing? That. That. Can't ride a horse. This is for my another vassal. Sell these off. Give her Western aspect, even though European aspect, even though she is there. They are. She's going to replace the. There is the forbidden. This is the forbidden city, and I'm going to replace Boho here with Christina. Christina shall be my new answer, and I really do have a horse for him. That is pretty expensive. I don't even have that much. Now, as you can see there, there's my new outfit. So I should, should, should change. And that is my port Bay Pink. That is Beijing. Anyway, let us. And I believe I should actually send an emissary first. Now, kind of, I am going to declare war on the Mongols. And really, they have been technically been at peace with me since first. But in the way of North Beijing conquest. So, I'm going to just spend to the Mongol Empire. Uh, that's not good relations, but still. It is what I need to be done. Yep, the Great Jing has declared on the Mongols. They're weak. They're not that strong, and currently I need to speak with my two, my two generals here. Uh, generals in my army. I want to assemble. Hmm. 
We are preparing to go to war. Uh, King Israel for Siege 4. Even though I have them in my home prison in back at my castle, and there's one of my vassals now, the foreign nations really want to grab one of my prisoners, and I can't even do a set. And I think I've... Yep, you will fight. We'll fight to the end. We have 380 troops. And, and these... And we're in battle. You can see my hero, Boho, in front leading the men. I believe I can't really see what I want to Ethan is, or Gao is, technically. I'll leave my men and I believe the enemies have arrived. I am going to have my cavalry follow me as I'm going to have a charge up here. There. My war cry of my men. I'm going to have to force out these Mongols from the no from Mongolia to establish the Jing Dynasty. By man, because in the map it looks disordered. So it's my time to achieve and unify the great Jing under only the Manchurian House of Iron. A lot of people getting knocked out and one of my uh, vassals knocked out. Oh, 
Come on, men. And you actually won that battle. Okay. Still have 101 men. Yeah. Let's finish this battle before I actually go. And take. So it's nearly, um, uh, well, it's about half an hour, half an hour into this video, and I'm actually going to end it. So, one, once you finish this battle. Did not see me coming. Ah! And this buddy's in battle. Thank you very much. Come on, man. Mongols boy on my side, that is... <laughs> and another one. I'm about to win this, don't. And I'm gonna...
risk of the enemy as we want them to. Yep. Yep, and that is victory. And I'm just gonna let my men do that. And I got more prisoners. I have lost a lot of men in that battle. Uh, 71 left. Lost at least 11 or so men. It's very day 6 minutes and uh, 6 seconds. Uh, day 6 minutes and 11 seconds, technically. And I believe I'm going to end it here. In the next episode, we will f take out the Mongol Empire. And after that, we shall go south and finish off the Ming, if they still here. If they aren't, we sh and take it out by either Arabia or Japan, we shall take Japan. And Arabia. And I think, I believe my men are capable of ruining this kingdom. So. Anyway. Have a good day. And... Please like, comment, and subscribe. Warn Tactics Productions.